this session we're going to take a look at what's included in the Corel Draw Graphics Suite. Obviously, there's a number of applications that come with the Graphics Suite. You've got Corel Draw, of course, Corel Photo Paint, Font Navigator. There's Corel Caption, a number of other applications. But this series, which is an introduction to Corel Draw for the absolute beginner, we're going to focus on two main applications. There's Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. Now, as we're going through our training, I'll be drawing from my over 15 years of experience, starting out as a freelance designer and then finally as the art director of a $2 million a year plus screen printing and sign shop in upstate New York. And what I've come to realize over the years watching individuals work with Corel Draw, training and consulting in Corel Draw, also looking at the training material that's been provided across the internet, be it free or pay, I've come to realize that very few trainers and designers, now there are some that do of course, leverage Corel Photo Paint and Corel Draw together. Now, we want to lay a foundation for the fact that we have Corel Draw and then I have open here a copy of Corel Photo Paint and this is actually a bitmap or raster application. We'll get into what are bitmaps and raster in the next sessions here so we'll have a good foundation on how to work with them and how to work with this application so we'll understand what we're doing when we're working in Photo Paint. What type of objects are we editing, manipulating, or affecting when we're working in this application? Taking a look at my screen here, my workspace, this page and draw, you can see I've got a Mustang graphic here and that is all vector. And this is actually a number of vector objects. If I pull this object here and then pull this object out here, you'll see that I'm taking apart a vector graphic. And working with graphics is really simple once you understand objects. How to edit and manipulate them within Corel Draw graphic design is very easy. Actually, it's not difficult at all. The learning may be a little difficult at first, but once you get an idea of how to work with the objects and how the application handles and creates effects and how you can edit these types of objects in the application, you'll be able to create any type of graphic you want within the Corel Draw graphic suite. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z here and we'll go back. Now that's a vector object. Next to that, I've got another model cop, and you can see that this is comprised of bitmap or raster objects similar to what we have here in photo paint but yet it's functioning much the same as it would in photo paint now there's a number of features and functions directly in photo paint that we don't have in Corel Draw but a large portion of the functionality that's available in Corel photo paint is also available directly in draw and that is what makes the application unique in my opinion Having this raster capability available directly in Draw saves me enormous amounts of time. As an art director and working with screen printing shops and small businesses over the years, we find that people don't like to spend a lot of money on their artwork budget, so we would have to do our work very quickly. So really for me, in a graphics application, quality is very important. However, speed is critical. I need to be able to get my work done fast. Um, moving on beyond the bitmap, object that we have here with the model comp directly in draw. We have an object here which is the advancedartist.com logo. And this is actually comprised of vector and raster or bitmap objects together creating different types of effects. Now often we can create effects and looks with bitmaps or raster that we just couldn't create with vector. It would be impossible or close to it anyway or a lot of work to create this model comp in vector and have it look this good. So we want to be able to work with these two applications together hand in hand in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. Now if I scroll down my page here I'll start taking a look at a graphic here and this is a completely very busy type of fashion or very modern type t-shirt layout but this is actually comprised of a combination of vector and raster objects. A lot of my effects are coming from raster. For example this chopper and I tried to illustrate this chopper in vector I would have spent 10 or 15 hours because of the amount of detail that's involved in this object. But right now it's set up so I can separate it as spot colors or set it up any way I want, but yet it's set up inside of a vector object, a power clip curve on layer one. If I hold down my control key and click on this, double click on this, I'll go inside, right click here, and you can see my highlights were actually pulled out of a photograph. So I'm working with a bitmap or raster object power clipped inside of a vector object. This is a perfect example of being able to combine or work with both raster or bitmap images and vector objects in Corel Draw. The unique benefits we have by working with and knowing how to work with both of these type of objects and knowing how to work with both Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. 
go ahead and zoom out here, go to page two. I've got an eagle illustration started out as a raster or bitmap sketch, and then was converted to vector in the application. So we can see that the combination of Corel Draw with Corel Photo Paint, there's literally nothing that we can't create graphically. Go here to page four, and we've got a little fish illustration as we can see here, and then we've got a combination of the fish illustrated as bitmaps. If I click on this, it's an RGB bitmap. But then I've got vector objects in the background. Go to the next page here, and we actually have the advancedartist.com website designed in Corel Draw. Very nice layout, a lot of effects going on, a lot of different things going on. Once again, combination vector and raster, vector and bitmaps. Here we've got a tabloid style layout for a power sports company. A lot of action going on here. A lot of the effects and type of things we see in modern page layout, modern design. We've got the snowmobile. Uh, popping right out of design gets your attention. This whole tabloid page was created in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. So we can see that if we understand within the graphics suite how to work with the different types of objects, vector, vector and bitmaps, and also all of the applications that we have, especially Draw and Photo Paint, there's really nothing that we can't create or design in the Corel Draw graphics suite. And we want to lay a foundation for that here so that we know moving forward in our training that we want to be able to work with photo paint and how important it is that we have an understanding of the bitmaps and how they work and how to work with them in the CorelDRAW application or the CorelDRAW graphics suite.